Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, quick offbeat hi-hat little workout for you here. Grade three, grade four kind of level. I did a video previously about offbeat hi-hat grooves and gave you some variations, bass drum variations there uh, at the grade one and grade two level. Uh, and this is gonna be five more grooves just to get you thinking and get you working a little bit at that slightly higher level of coordination. Offbeat hi-hat grooves, what am I on about? I'm talking about this. So grooves where your hi-hat plays on the ands. So one and two and three and four and one and two and in a sort of funk or disco uh, or potentially rock style. Um, like I say, if you haven't checked out that previous video uh, and you're just kind of starting out with offbeat hi-hat grooves, please check that one out first. This is, like I say, sort of moving up to around the sort of grade three, uh, four level of, of coordination. Here we go. Now groove number one, uh, hand part is the classic offbeat hi-hat groove. One and three and four and kick part is pretty much the classic one and two and three and four and but we've got one extra little bass drum here and this is classic grade three bass drum starting to drop in between the hi-hat flow so i've put the extra bass drum here on the e of beat two in other words straight after the snare drum in between where the snare drum hits and when the hi-hat will hit on the and of beat two so one and And one and two E and three and four and one and two E and three and four and classic little bit of um yeah grade three level bass drum coordination. Just developing that little skill to drop that kick drum, that bass drum, in the gap there between the snare and the hi-hat. Uh, as ever, if you need to, start as slow as you like. Talk yourself through it. Allow your hands and your feet to see this. If you're playing it fast and going, this is hard, that, that's not the way to practice, man. You're not going to get better like that. Go break it down. Go slow. Set the precedent in your nervous system at first uh, with, between your hands and your feet and your brain. Make sure that pathway actually exists at first by going through and showing it the right notes in the right order. So saying out loud, kick, hi-hat, snare, kick, hi-hat, kick, hi-hat. Hi-hat. And building it up in that fashion, man. Take your time. That's the big thing for all of the big theme for all of these, really. Number two goes like this. This is a really similar one, isn't it? So all I've done here is moved the little bass drum that goes in between the hi-hats to the A uh of beat two instead of the E of beat two. Remember, 16th notes, one E and a, two E and A. Uh. So I'm playing it now on the A uh of beat two. This will be after the hi-hat on the and of beat two. One and two and A uh and four and one and two and A, uh, three and That's number two. And one and two there, yeah, again, just dealing with that classic sort of grade three thing of just starting to drop the kick, like in between the hi-hat flow on what we call upbeat 16ths, right? On the E's and the U's, on the upbeat or offbeat 16ths. Okay, cool. Number three goes like this. So a bit more funky on the bass drum here. Hand part is exactly the same. One and two and three and four and. Beat one is a kick, one and. Then you've got the offbeat 16th kicks here on beat two. So you're on the E and the R. Uh. So two E and R. Uh. 
That's the little moment on beat two. two three, and, uh. and then three and four and for the second half. So groove number three. One and two e and a three and four and one and two e and a three and four and Okay, definitely a more funky one with the kick there. It just goes to show that's probably going up to your grade four onwards, just getting that kick to be a little bit more funky. And uh, yeah, there's a, I mean, it's not exactly the same as that, but that similar level of coordination comes in. Uh, grade four, Car Wash, if you've played that one, Trinity Rock and Pop, like in the intro, uh, similar level of sort of coordination with the kick and offbeat hi-hats there. Okay, number four goes like this. So the, the, these last two, in fact, four and five, are a little bit more about um, snare drum variation. So all that's happening here is we're playing an extra snare drum on the art uh of beat two, on the art uh of beat two, and we're playing uh, the bass drum on the one, and then the and of beat three. Check it out. One and two and a uh, three and four and, and two and a uh, three You're getting that one and two and a uh, three and four and uh, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? And then number five, just a busy, slightly busier snare drum with the same kick part. So one and two and a. Uh. Uh, on beat three here, we're playing e and so resting the three and then playing e and. Four and so first half one and two and a uh. second half three e and four and one and two and a, three e and four and All right, just for fun, I'm going to play the usual thing here. I'm going to play all of them in turn. Uh, it's just a little playthrough. We'll do, I don't know, um, three bars of each one. And in the fourth bar, we'll do a little drum fill that leads us into the next one. Here we go. Groove number one, two, three, four. Into number two. Number three. Number four. Tons of fun, man. I'll do it a bit quicker. Number one. Number five. 
just a bit of fun, man. Just kind of showing that next a little push up of coordination. Now, if you're starting to feel good with those and that's all uh, happening, great. What I'd really, really, really recommend from there is getting into uh, personally one of my all time favorite books, which is uh, Time Functioning Patterns, Gary Chafee. Absolutely classic, man. And uh, what starts life as something called the Fatback Grooves, um, starting on page 11 of that book. And I've this this particular uh, page I've done videos about before. In fact, I'll link to that in the description below. Um, playing all of these beautiful kick and snare variations with offbeat hi-hat. The amazing thing about this book is, and these few pages here, 11 onwards, is it doesn't have a hi-hat or ride part written in. It has kick and snare variations. Uh, and they're really systematic, man. They really go like, for example, it's on the one and then on the E and on the and on the uh, and then it's two kicks, you know, one E, one and and so on. It's really, really like nothing, no stone is left unturned, man, in terms of developing all your lovely variations and uh, developing your coordination. So I'd really recommend doing those pages, uh, which I spent about 20 years practicing with, um, with the various hi-hat patterns, but in particular your offbeat hi-hats. If you're getting to that sort of level and you're firing those grooves out and you're sort of getting what's going on there, cool, that would definitely be my next uh, bit of advice would be to grab hold of this book and I'll link to that in the, in the description below and uh, kick off from there, man. Lovely. So thanks for watching as always. Hope that's useful. Uh, it's a really, really nice thing to have up your sleeve, that offbeat hi-hat thing. And as you move up through your grade levels or as, as you develop your playing, it's just, yeah, a lovely thing to have in your in your repertoire as, as variety, uh, just offbeat hi-hat um, as opposed to just hammering out eighth notes like a lot of drummers do. Very, very cool thing. And uh, yeah, great for funk, great for rock, great for all sorts of creative playing, dance music, of course, in a big way as well. So thanks for watching as always. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks to all the lovely people who've done that. And thanks to all the amazing people who've supported this channel via my Buy Me A Coffee support page. I'll link to that in the description below as well. Uh, thanks to all the amazing people who've bought me a coffee so to speak on there if you've appreciated these videos enjoyed them found them entertaining or useful or whatever if whatever form you've enjoyed them uh, please consider supporting the channel if you're in a position to do so as i say you can buy me a coffee or if you want you can become a monthly member as a monthly member you get a whole load of great features uh, a customized personalized practice plan complimentary zoom session ongoing drum support uh, feedback on your drumming uh, a whole load of other cool stuff members videos or oh, no notation for all the like for example on this video right now that the notation for uh, not just on screen but uh, written out notation for all these all the grooves all this all the uh, sheet music to go with all these videos you get all access to all that as well so uh, if that's of interest please check that out below thanks a million good luck with your offbeat hi-hat grooves any questions about any of that give us a shout see you soon cheers